Coming to you live from the Contaminated Dungeon, it's Max the Animal and Nikki Snacks here on Bagels and Locks. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks. Do it over. Do it over. Why? It's the last one. Do it over. Oh, want another one? All right. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to Bagels and Locks, the Super Bowl edition. That's what I'm it joined is. by my partner, Nikki Snacks. We've got a matchup for you today. We do. Tell them about it. It's um, it's the last NFL game of the year. They uh, they call it the Super Bowl. They do. That's what they call it. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, you're, you're a champ. I'm a champ. We're both champs. Yeah. Broncos, Giants. We're we're former champs. But tonight, we have. Arguably, I think these are the two best teams in football. Well, yeah, it's Snacks I, I think we have versus Animal. Probably the most electric matchup of the year. Oh, it's even better than, than Niners versus Chiefs. Yeah, the Super Bowl is happening, but we're talking about the Super Bowl that's happening here right now. This guy versus this guy in the tightest of tight matches. It's tight. Right? I mean... There's no porn star. It's tighter than this. Oh, well, porn stars, I mean... Well, that was the joke. You get it? None of them are tight. I was going to say, it's not really a good joke. No, I know. It's a really good joke. We're going to give you something special today. We're going to give you six picks. Six picks. Two on the game. So we'll give you the spread. We're going to give you our total. We're going to give you two props for player props, though. So two player props, you know, rushing yards, receiving yards, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then two Super Bowl props, whether it's, uh, you know, coin toss or... uh, the Gatorade, Gatorade, Gatorade or color or blah, 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 blah you know, blah, whatever blah, blah, it is. Blah, 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 Yeah, exactly. Let's, uh, let's start it off with the Super Bowl props. Yeah. We're we'll going to end we'll, with the we'll, Super Bowl. We'll do game props first. Yeah. And then we will, at the end, we will tell you who we have winning because the spread's very tight. And then we will tell you the over-under that we like. So, Correcto mundo. Animals, start us off. <sighs> Was that too much pressure? It's a lot of pressure. I'm like, and you know, it's the last episode, so. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna give us the first pick. I'm gonna start us off. We're going with. We're doing player props first or game props? No game props. Game props. All right, so I'm gonna get. I like to get these right out of the way. I want to get it right out of the way. National anthem, over two minute and one second. Two minutes and one second. Demi Lovato, she can belt it out. Now, granted. I be- I'm not sure on this because I looked earlier, but I forgot. I didn't want to write down. I'm a little lazy. I believe it was the last five out of the seven times she sang the national anthem. It went under. But but the last time she sang it, she went over. It was two, two minutes and 11 seconds. You know what? We're partners. I really like that because she's a recovering drug addict. She's out of rehab. Yes. And she wants to make a statement, well, she's, which means she's, bike. she's going to f***ing belt that national anthem. I agree. The greatest song in the history of mankind. She's going to belt it, and that's going to be her coming back vengeance tour. It all starts Sunday, tonight, with Demi Lovato going over the national anthem. I love that bet. I, I do love too. that bet. You know I what other it. bet I love? I like getting sh- out of the way right away, too. The first kickoff, yes or no for a touchback? No. It's not going to be a touchback because these teams are going to be way too antsy. They're going to take the ball. And if the Chiefs get the ball first, game over. It doesn't even matter. You can get the ball. McCall well, Harmon. For that prop, yeah. McCall Harmon is run it out. taking that ball out. 100%. Yeah. 100%. And the 49ers are going to do it too. The first kickoff of the game, literally when all the cameras are flashing, is not going to be a touchback. So bet no on the first kickoff being a touchback. I like it. I like it. I agree with that analysis. I, I still think, you know, the 49ers get the ball, you might have a problem. But uh, Yeah, probably. We'll worry about that when we get there. Yeah, well, that's true. Okay, my second game prop is uh, another one that's going to be, we're going to get it right out of the way. I want to watch this, and I want to know if I'm 2-0. I want to know if I'm 2-0 to start. Coin toss. Coin toss. Tails. Tails. I mean, do I even have to say it? If you pick heads, you're an idiot. Tails I'm- never fails. That's why. It, that's why people say that. I'm so mad because I know this is a winner. I know of course, this is a winner. Tails never fails. It's literally, it's all there. No, it's so tails true. Tails so never 
fails. It's so I know true. it's like a cliche or no, it's not even it's the, urban it's, legend it's or whatever you want to call it. It's not even that the tales never fails. Tales is just do. Yeah. They're due. I mean, I don't know what that means, but all right. That means the last three Super Bowls, the last three, if you looked it up, if oh, you did your homework, it was all heads. It's not good. No. It's actually good. No, that's, that's what actually I'm saying. good. They're due. They're okay. Due. All right. Tales is due. I love it. Also, I made that stat up. But, 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 there's another prop bet for the Super Bowl that you could bet on. And I'm giving you the heads up right now that it is plus 260 on the money line. So, I'm going to give it to you for free, but if you put a little money on it, you're going to make a bang for your buck. Will there be a successful two-point conversion? Yes or no? Animal, the answer is yes. I'm going out of the box on this Super Bowl prop bet. I can't believe that's 260. It's plus that's, 260. That is crazy. I think that's a lock. I thought it was crazy too. I'm I, mad that I you have it. that. I love I'm mad it. that you have and that. And I'm mad you have tails. Man, we are we are in sync tonight. Eh, we maybe. are in sync. That's what happens when you do the last show. Maybe. But you bet yes on there being a successful two-point conversion in the Super Bowl tonight with the Chiefs and the 49ers. Those are the two teams flying. One of them will have a successful two-point conversion. I completely agree. I completely agree. Those are the the player props. What are you doing? Cheers. Yeah, yeah cheers. Those are the play. Uh, those are the game props. We're gonna move on game to the props. player props now. My first one. This is so simple. It's simple. It's just so simple. It's Raheem Mostert. It's over seventy five and a half rushing yards. The guy rushed for over two hundred yards last uh, last game. I was gonna say last week, but he wasn't in the Pro Bowl. He wasn't in the Pro Bowl. You dog, you over seventy five and a half rushing. Yards. You know Shanahan is running the ball. That's He's been having nightmares about not running the ball for years now. So he's going to run the ball in the Super Bowl. Really great point there. I mean, it's, it's, it's really a lock. It's guaranteed. It's simple. 75 and a half. He's going to have 175. Remember when I told you about the Tevin Coleman thing? Like, like he like not, dislocated no, no, his shoulder. Shut up, just shut up. Just not shut up, worried shut up. about him. I think there's a reason that's low. Don't don't start with this again. Well, Get I'm out of here. Saying. You that's my that's my first player prop. Let's hear yours. Don't don't I, give don't an, an, analyze my picks. Okay, I won't. I love you, buddy. I love you too. My first player prop is Patrick Mahomes rushing yards over over thirty and a half. Over thirty and a half. That D line's going to come at him at some point. All it takes is one rush outside the pocket to get 30, 31 yards. No, I, I think he's going to do that more than once. It is. I said it on. I said it on Faith the Public this week. I'm going to say it right now on Bagels and Locks, the greatest gambling show of all time. I am nailing, nailing Patrick Mahomes over 30 and a half rushing yards. That rush is going to come in from the center, from the edge. But Patrick Mahomes is so agile, he's going to get out of the pocket every single time he can, and he's going to have to run, and that's what he's going to do. And he's going to go over 30 and a half rushing yards. Lock it the f*** in. I like that. I like that bet, too, because I think he's gone over that the past, like, four or five he games. He has. He's had 53 and 51 yep. in his last two games. Yep. So, and I could easily see him having, like, 20 rushing yards in the first quarter. So, yep. Easily. I like that. That's and a good literally, bet. it only takes one carry. That's a so. good bet. That's a good bet. F*** you. F*** you. That's a good bet. All right. <clears throat> Second <laughs> player prop. It's simple. Damian Williams to score a touchdown. Yeah. That's it. That's all there is. You know it's going to happen. You know he's probably going to score, too, right? The Chiefs either are going to throw the ball to Tyreek Hill into the end zone for a touchdown on a long ass pass, or they're going to get down to the one yard line and Damian Williams is going to run it in. Damian Williams is going to score a touchdown. It's so simple. I like it. I mean, it's easy. This is this is starting to get annoying. You like my bets. I like your bets. Right? We got problems here. Six and zero, six and zero. Maybe not. Maybe. Well, it's going to be. We'll impossible see. We'll see what keep, happens if at if the they end. Keep watching the show. See what it happens might be at impossible. the end. It's not going to be bad, but. For the same reason why I love Mahomes rushing with the pressure, I love Travis Kelsey to go over six and a half receptions. I think there's going to be plenty of dump offs when the pressure gets hot. I have nine receptions. Yeah, so you like my bet. I, I hate that I do. Yeah, you hate that you do, but I'm betting it. So six and a half over receptions, Travis Kelsey. They're probably going to try and focus on him but you don't focus on the best tight end in football. 
The second best tight end in football is on the other side, but the best tight end in football plays for Kansas City. With the rush that's going to come from San Francisco, Mahomes is going to need to find his safety blanket and Travis Kelsey. And that's exactly what he's going to do more than six and a half times. Bet over six and a half receptions for Travis Kelsey. Lock it the f- in. All right. So right now we got four picks each in, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling too great that like I'm going to be able to have a big lead. You know, I'm not going to finish that many games ahead well, of you. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell Just you. Just two. i tell you. Between the first kickoff and everything, we're going to have two settled already. I know. It's great. I love so, it. I love the, the instant. The instant. That's fun. I don't know what I'm looking for here. What word? But the instant. Gratification. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is that the word? I don't even know. Could be. It could be. I haven't been Let's move on to the big game, the Super Bowl. Let's start with the spread. It's plus one and a half, the 49ers. Wait, wait. What? <laughs> But let's move on to the big game, which is the Super Bowl. We've been talking about the Super Bowl. Well, I mean, we're talking about the actual, like, the, the lines oh, here. Oh, the score, oh, the total, oh. you know, the spread. Oh. I am taking the 49ers. I'm only taking the points because of the show. If you know, I, When I'm betting, I'm betting money line, all right? I'm betting money line because I, I want that extra. I want that, you know, I don't want to pay the juice. I want that extra, you know, that, that yeah, plus I 105. I don't, I don't blame it. Plus 105, plus 110. I took where a plus you get it. 60 money line on, on player prop, so you could Yeah, that's nice. Money. You could take the money line. I'm just saying, if you are betting at home, bet the money line 49ers. I'm taking 49ers plus one and a half. I think they're going to win. The defense is going to get after Patrick Mahomes. He can only do so much by himself before. It's just not enough, you know? And I think eventually, the, the between the run game, the defense, and Shanahan just not wanting to lose another Super Bowl, there's too much in favor for the 49ers for this game to go the other way. 49ers lock it in. Boom. It's simple. It seems simple the way you say it, but... uh. The only bet you're going to disagree with me on is is this one. And I'm going with the Chiefs. And if you've been a listener of this show, if you've been a listener to Fade the Public, Max, who have I said for probably three months now that I think is going to win the Super Bowl? The Chiefs. I have said that numerous, numerous, numerous times. So there's no shot in God's creation. I'm going back on that. The Chiefs win this game by at least seven. I only say that it's going to come down to the wire. I do. I really think we have a great Super Bowl. But the Chiefs cover the one and a half. Minus one and a half. Chiefs, they have a sneaky good defense. They do. Yes, they do. Steve Spagnuolo is a championship defensive coordinator. Championship defense coordinator. Right or wrong? Right or wrong? Right. Say it again? That's right. 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 And who's the defense coordinator for the Chiefs? Steve, Steve Spagnuolo. Steve Spagnuolo. He knows how to game plan for a championship team. The 49ers is no joke. They're going to run the ball at will. Whatever the case is, doesn't matter. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in football. And to be honest, I don't think it's close. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's close. It's not. The Chiefs score at will. The Niners lose this Super Bowl. Chiefs minus one and a half. Okay. Okay, so there we got a different pick there. We do have a different pick. And guess what? I mean, the first four were different picks, but we all guess like them. Yeah. what? Here we go. The last pick go. of the show. We're taking the total, and we're going under. Yeah, you didn't see that, did you? I told you I was going over. I said over before the show. I told him I was going over, but I'm not. I'm going under. Here's why. Defense. Defense wins championships. 49ers are going to get after Patrick Mahomes. He's still going to have a great game. But it's not going to show up on the scoreboard. It's not going to show up on the scoreboard. 53 and a half. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of points. Here's my prediction. 28-21. Is that under it? Yes. There you go. 28-21. 49ers. Under. Lock it in. That's my sixth pick. That's all I got for you. Yeah, you, you, you may have duped me, but that's okay. You duped yourself into a losing bet because this game goes over. Last year's Super Bowl was 13-3, and no one gave a f- about that. Except if you have Super Bowl boxes 3-3, three and three, then you were a f- yeah, made you're happy man. Person. Then you were a made man. Yeah. But this Super Bowl ends 34-27 Chiefs. Actually, no, I got, I got a, I'm in a really big box that I have 8-0. and zero, So it's going to be 38-30 
Chiefs. It's going to go over, over the total. I can't see th- these teams don't kick field goals. They don't. The only thing I they can don't. see is they score touchdowns. The fact that last year's Super Bowl was so low scoring that just I know that you know it's not rigged and everything, but the NFL wants a high scoring game, God and these refs right are going to let some yeah. happen. They're going to let some plays go. They're going. I know what you said. I know. I know. But I still have to take the under. That's why we're going I over. I get it. Over fifty three and a half. The best quarterback on the planet. The best offense on the planet. Two unbelievable play callers on offense. We're going over 53 and a half. All right. Well, there you have it. Listen, we want to thank all of you for staying with us throughout the whole year. If you did stay with us from the start, thank you. We really appreciate it. As you know, this is the the season finale. That just means that the season is over. We're not dead. Not the series. We'll be back next year with some more bagels and locks. We'll be covering football like we always do. But, you know, it's it's a little sad right now. Not really sure what to say. It took us it took us about 20 minutes to like actually get up here and record this because we really are upset and the support that we've had from we've had we have a loyal loyal fan. Yeah, we really appreciate we all do. you know the comments, the likes, everything just from the people who've been watching. The interaction, we, it, we, you know, we really do appreciate it. And we ain't dead. No, we ain't dead. No, we got more coming towards you. There's so. plenty of content that will be coming your way. Stay tuned. Uh, we want to just bring up our editor real quick and uh, take a bow with us. Yeah, because without without him, this show is. Sh- out our editor you know none of this would be possible so and also uh, thank you nick wherever you are you know you're not here but for allowing us to be on the channel yeah thanks and, uh you know, let's all take a bow mm-hmm. bagels and locks for life mother Vegas and locks, baby. Bagels and locks?